just converted our basement to a gym and I posted pictures online and I got a ton of questions about everything that we did. So what I'm gonna do is just walk you through everything, the flooring, the mirrors, the equipment, what it costs, but also how to save money. You know, I had a few people say, I'll never be able to afford a home gym like that. It must've cost you a fortune. But you know what? The thing is, I started my home gym with just a set of resistance bands. It doesn't matter what you have. You just start with where you're at now and then you continue to add on it. We built this and acquired all the equipment over the course of five years. Don't look at it as you know, something that's unattainable. Look at it as inspiration for what you can what you can do as you continue to invest. Because when you buy gym equipment for your home, it's investing in your own health. It's investing in yourself because you get to keep it and you can use it for a very, very long time. So let's walk through our home gym. Now, when we first moved in, this was just a dark dungeon of a basement. The, the carpet down here was just like this piece of old carpet that the homeowners had left us. It was pee stained and gross. Um, you know, the walls aren't finished, the ceiling isn't finished. We wanted to clean up the place and make it a little more appealing to come work out in. So uh, we did a bunch of things. And the first thing we did is we put some foam tile flooring down. I love using this stuff. They come in packs of four and they're two feet by two feet per tile. We got this at Lowe's. It's about $20 for four tiles. So it comes out to about $1.25 a square foot. I wanna show you the thickness of it. Got an extra piece here. It's about a half an inch thick. Okay, and if you compare this to like a jump mat, here's the jump mat from Beachbody. You know, this is one fourth inch thick. So here they are side by side. You can see the jump mat on the left is way thinner. It's a fourth of an inch compared to half an inch for the foam tile. So if you're jumping on concrete or wood floor, I highly recommend some kind of foam, uh, especially these foam tiles and they actually hold together really well. Somebody asked, do they come apart while you're doing like jumps or anything? No, they don't at all. Another way to save money in your home gym are mirrors. These mirrors right here are just plain bathroom mirrors. We got them at Lowe's, $45 each. They're three feet by two feet. Problem with when you go to get like a big gym mirror, they're expensive. Cheapest I've found for around this size combined in one mirror is $350. So if you can get two mirrors, 45, and just put them side by side, awesome. What you're seeing here, this white, this wall is an unfinished wall behind it. If you look up here, this is actually a, we covered it in a very large tablecloth. It's 11 feet by seven and a half feet. I got that on Amazon for 10 bucks. And then I stapled it, just used a staple gun to staple it up to the wood up there. So it just covers up that wall and again, makes the space more appealing. Let's talk lighting real quick. When we first moved in, there were no lights down here. There's like one, there's like one tiny little bulb. And we get up and do our workouts at 5 a.m. And it doesn't let you really work out well at night. So we installed new canned lights. Those cans are $7 each. And then we've got LED lights for 20 bucks each. Now let me tell you the significance of this. In order to install traditional lights, incandescent, you know, floodlights like this, we would have needed to run additional electrical circuits, which would have been very expensive working with an electrician. Since these are LED, they only use nine watts each. And we were able to, we, we did have an electrician come out and install them. He charged about 85 bucks for three uh, per hour for three hours. And he did not have to run any additional electrical circuits. So we've got 10 of these now lighting up this whole area for the gym and for the kids area. If you want to add additional lighting and you've got a basement with the ceiling still open, pretty easy to do. I got this easy curl bar and it came with about 85 pounds of plates from Beachbody. It's $129 if you're a customer, it's $99 if you're a coach. This is the best price I could find doing my research for a standard size. These are standard size plates and it's an easy curl bar. This is what you want if you're doing Body Beast at home. Like I said, it comes with additional plates and I actually bought a, some additional plates from Team Beachbody as well. I bought this rack. This is called a, this right here is called a plate tree. It's about $35 on Amazon. It's a Marcy plate tree. This bad boy right here, uh, Kate scored this deal on a uh, Facebook, like for sale page, like a swap sale page, 
$125 used. Sorry, you won't be able to find that deal anywhere close, brand new. But it always helps when you're building your home gym to keep an eye out for weights being resold, used. Up here we've got resistance bands. You can get a set of resistance bands from Amazon, a cheap set for about 30 bucks. I had that for a while. Now I have the really good high quality ones from Beachbody. It's about $100 for a set. There's additional ones not shown here. There's more in the set, but they're very, very high quality, very thick, and they're less likely to uh, snap you in the face. If you're a coach, I think it's about 70 bucks for a set. All right, we got these shelves here. This is actually one shelf split into two pieces. We got this from Lowe's. Uh, it's a metal and wood shelf from Lowe's in their garage shelf section. It's awesome for keeping your home gym organized with all the equipment and things that you have. Of course, our home gym wouldn't be complete without Beachbody On Demand. I can access our whole library of workouts streaming from Beachbody. I no longer have to fumble with all these discs or wait for them to load. Um, everything is right here. It's so sweet. We're accessing it through the Amazon Fire and uh, it's awesome over Wi-Fi. I'll put a link to the Beachbody On Demand in the description of this video. It's only about 12 bucks a month. You get access to about two dozen workouts and then like P90X, Insanity, uh, Turbo Fire, a lot of a lot of workouts, and then you can buy Beachbody's newest workouts, premium workouts, at a discount. If you sign up for a Beachbody On Demand, I will be your coach, and I will help you with your meal plan. You can get access to my private group, so I'll put a link to that below this video. This is the Bowflex 1090s. These actually range from 10 pounds to 90 pounds per hand. These are expensive. They're $700 for the pair, new, but I think they're highly worth it. But I started off with the lower version, the 552s, that range from five pounds to 52 pounds in one hand. Those I got on Craigslist for like $250, no, $200. And I later resold them to a friend for 250, and I took that money and put it towards these. So they don't ever really lose their value. You, you can get a set of new ones for about $290 on Amazon. You can click here to see my full review comparing the, the Bowflex 552s versus the 1090s. All right, this dip station I use for doing tricep dips, chest dips, it's awesome and it was about 90 bucks. I got it on Amazon, so you can take a look at that. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you want to see my full review of the three benches that we have, you can click here. This set of weights, I got it Sports Authority during Black Friday. It was a killer deal. It was like 250, maybe 300 bucks. It came with a full set of uh, the Olympic bar and Olympic plates. So I, I recommend checking that out. I've had them for about two years now and they've held up really, really well. This rack is one of my favorite racks. It is the X Mark. The thing I love about it is it has so many notches. I think we call that like a sawtooth. I feel a lot safer working out alone because if I can't clear the weight or get it back up to the spot where I started, I can always just set it on any one of those catches there. You can do squats, you can do bench, and I use that almost every day. So that X Mark rack is about $390 on Amazon. I'll put a link to it below. I'll be doing a full review along with this rack right here very soon. This is the Monster Cage. It's the newest addition to our home gym. This is from Marcy Pro. It's very, very high quality, but this allows you to do bench, squats. It even has dipping. Uh, handles, you can do dips on there. You can even do pull-ups. It has a whole nother attachment for different grips on the pull-ups. Uh, that is an amazing piece of equipment. I think it goes for about $7.99, but they're always doing discounts that bring it down to around $6.50. Check that, you can check that out at Marcy Pro. I'll put a link to that as well. Uh, one other thing I get a lot of questions on are posters. I got these posters at the Beachbody Summit, and then I just bought some frames. You can get a pack of frames, two frames for about 10 bucks from Walmart or even Amazon and I just put them in there you know get a poster of anything that inspires you hang it up in your home gym just livens it up a little bit reminds you what you're working for of course we also keep our original day one photos up here so we can see them every day it reminds us of where we started and how far we've come
that was just my six month transformation, but here is my five year transformation. I've done it completely at home 100%. 70 to 80% of your results will come from your nutrition. So if you're looking help for help with your nutrition, visit my website, I've got meal plans, and I coach people to get results. David and Kate helped me uh, with support. They kept me on track. They made me feel like I wasn't doing this alone. I feel many years younger. I feel confident. I've totally gained my confidence back. I feel like I can do anything. David and Kate can help you because they've both been there.